Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 35. That is, what is dynamic testing? Let me answer. In simple terms, dynamic testing is nothing but the process of performing the testing by running the code. Okay, if you are performing testing by running the code or executing the code, that is known as dynamic testing. There is an exact opposite of this dynamic testing known as static testing. In static testing, we are going to perform testing by not running the code. Okay, without running the code, if you are performing testing, that is called a static testing. Whereas if you perform testing by running the application code, that is called as dynamic testing. So what are the different types of testings that fall under the dynamic testing category? You see here all the levels of software testing. There are four levels of software testing, right? Like unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and acceptance testing. All these four levels of software testing fall under the dynamic testing only. Why? Because while performing unit testing, developers will run a piece or unit of code, right? So they have to run the code to perform the unit testing. Similarly, developers have to run the code related to logically grouped units to perform integration testing. Here also the code is being run by the developers. Coming to system testing guys, in system testing, software testers will perform the system testing. For example here, let's say this application you are testing, tutorialsninja.com slash demo. Let's say I'm searching for something. When I click on the search button in the background, okay, in the background of the application, some code is running, okay? Without that, you will not get the search results, right? When I enter HP or do some operations on this application, whatever the operations you do on this application, guys, the functionality is working because in the background of this application, the code is being run, okay? The code is being run in the background of the application. Hence, system testing also is only possible by running the code, okay? We can only perform system testing by running the code indirectly. Here, we are not directly running the code. Like unit testing and integration testing, developers have to run explicitly, but here, indirectly, the software testers while testing the application in the background, the code is being run. Hence, system testing also falls into the dynamic testing category. Coming to the acceptance testing, which is almost similar to the system testing, but here, the purpose is different. Here, uh, to check whether the main focus is to check whether the client requirements are properly developed or not. In case of acceptance testing, the main focus is on whether the developed software is according to the user's needs and expectation is acceptance testing. But here also, in acceptance testing, we test this kind of application using the functionality. In the background, the code will be running. Hence, since the code is running, in case of system testing and acceptance testing in the background, they also fall into the dynamic testing category, okay? So, but what is the purpose of dynamic testing? Why we have to perform dynamic testing? Like unit testing, integration system, and access. Why we have to perform, guys? The main purpose of performing the dynamic testing is to find or identify the defects in the software and get this particular defects fixed, okay? So before releasing the software into the market, we have to find the defects in the software and get this particular defects fixed by the developers. That's what is the purpose of the dynamic testing. So hope guys, you got the answer for what is dynamic testing. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.